In this video, I'm going to be teaching you the cube notation for the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. Okay, so basically, there's a couple things I want to mention before I actually teach you the notation. And this will come in handy when you learn how to solve this cube. I want you to understand that there are three types of pieces on a cube. Okay, one is a centerpiece. And if you look in that gap there, you will see a white core, and that is the core. And attached to the core are these little pieces right here. These are the centerpieces. They determine the color of the side, the color of what that side must eventually become. This is an edge piece. This is what is referred to when we talk about cubes. It's known as an edge, and it has two stickers. One piece with two stickers. This one happens to be the yellow and blue one, and there are 12 on the cube. This is a corner piece, and pretty much it's self-explanatory because it's a corner on the cube when it's put in place. It's one piece with three stickers on it, and there are eight of these that make up the cube plus the six centers and the twelve edge pieces. So these pieces, when all when they all come together, they make up the Rubik's Cube along with the core. So I want you to understand that. And there's only one of each piece. There's only going to be one yellow and blue piece. There's no other yellow and blue piece on the cube if you look for it. There are other blue pieces and there are other yellow pieces, but no other yellow and blue piece. Same goes for the corner, and same goes for the centers. Now I'm going to actually teach you the notation. So the notation is basically what we use to show algorithms, and algorithms are sequences of moves that are designed so that they'll do a certain thing to two or more pieces. So one algorithm, so the way we show these algorithms is by showing the letter of a side and each side has a letter. The side that faces you is known as the front side. Pretty obvious. The side that's in that's opposite the front side is known as the back side because it's in the back. And the side that's on the right is known as right. The side that's on the left is known as left. And the top is known as up. The side that's on the bottom is known as down. Very simple. Now the reason well, this is the reason I think that they don't call it top and bottom is because there'd be another B for bottom and there's a B for back. And they don't want it, you to get mixed up with B and B. So they do U and D. And each one, like if you were following along, it, each one is shown by the capital letter. That's the starting letter, capital, of each side. For example, front would be shown as an F. So this, you know that's front. U is for up. R is for right. L is for left. D is for down. And B is for back. And that covers all six sides on the cube. Now, the way that we show these algorithms, you might say, well, if it's the front side, how do you know how many times to turn it, which direction to turn it, and so on? Well, what we do if you were to see an F in an algorithm, or you see an R, or U, or D, or just the letter by itself, you know that you have to turn that side clockwise. So for example, if you were to see F, then you turn the front side clockwise once, just like that. And if you were to see R, you turn the right side clockwise, as if you're facing it. So if you were to face it, and you turn it, that would be clockwise. So from the perspective of the front, that's what it would look like. Left would, if you're facing it, will look like this. So from the perspective of the front, it looks like this. So on and so forth for the rest of them. Up would look like this. Down would look like this. And B for back would look like this. When you face the back side, that's actually what it looks like. So, the only thing is that, what if you need to turn it the other way? for counterclockwise. That's where inverted, inverse, or prime comes in. It's referred to as inverted, inverse, or prime. So, also it's just referred to as I when you say the letter and you just say I. For example, F, 
eye, which is what I refer to it as, will look like this. You turn that side counterclockwise, referring to the letter. RI, R and right inverted, looks like this. It's a counterclockwise turn of the right side. Left inverted looks like this. Down inverted looks like this. Up inverted looks like this. And back inverted looks like this. Okay? That's really all you need to know. The only other thing you need to know is that there is, if there's a 2 before or after the letter, that means you just turn the side twice. So for example, F2 will look like this, U2 will look like this, R2 will look like this, L2 will look like this, D2 will look like this, and B2 will look like this. When you rotate it twice, it doesn't matter if you do it counterclockwise or clockwise because Either way, you're both going to end up the same way. Okay? And that is the cube notation.